Do you know what priest strangler means in Italian? Or leg potato in Portuguese? Or paper vampire in Afrikaans? This video is chock full of foreign words with quirky literal meanings. Do keep watching to discover them. But first, please subscribe to The English Nut on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. When you do literal translations of certain words and phrases from other languages into English, the results are hilarious. Take these German words. Handschuhe is German for gloves, but the literal translation of the compound word is handschuh. Stinktier literally translates to stink animal, quite apt in a childlike way because it means skunk in German. Are you familiar with slugs, those slimy, slow-moving creatures with long, soft bodies and no legs? They look sort of like snails without shells, so naturally in German, a slug is called a Nachtschnecker, which literally means naked snail. Fachad is the word for bicycle. Its literal translation is ride wheel. Fridge in German is Kühlschrank, literally meaning cool cupboard. A light bulb is called a Glühbirne, meaning glow pear, because of course, a light bulb is sort of pear-shaped and it glows. Do you know what a mnemonic is? It's a device you use to remember things. Here's an example. Consider this sentence, Richard of York gave battle in vain. The initial letters of the words in the sentence R-O-Y-G-B-I-V are the initial letters of the colors of the spectrum too, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Once you memorize the sentence, you'll be able to recall the colors of the spectrum. Another example is Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. E-A-D-G-B-E are the notes of the strings of a guitar from low to high. Not all mnemonics involve initial letters though. There are different types of mnemonic devices. Sometimes you can use music as a mnemonic. Children memorize the English alphabet by singing the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P and so on. The German word for mnemonic is Esselsbrücke, which literally translates to donkey's bridge. The German word is a literal translation of the Latin term pons asinorum, which refers to a stumbling block that learners fail to get past. Let's move to French. Do you know how to say 1999 in that language? It's 1999 which literally translates to 1,900, 420s, 10, 9. <laughs> the strangest part of it is the 99. You see, in French, 80 is 80, meaning 4 times 20, and 90 is 90, meaning 4 times 20 and 10. So the word for 90 literally encapsulates a bit of arithmetic. Quite crazy, isn't it? Imagine how tiresome it would be if you were born in 1999 in France. You'd be exhausted repeating your date of birth. A mousse bouche is a French word for a type of bite-sized appetizer. It literally means mouth amuser. Pum is French for apple. Terre is French for earth. But pum de terre, literally meaning earth apple, is the French term for a potato. Wonder what the French find in common between apples and potatoes. The Bengali word for mushroom, bangir chata, translates to frog's umbrella. One can imagine a frog sheltering in the shade of a big mushroom. The Bengali term is not that unusual when you consider the English word toadstool, which also means mushroom. A stool for toads to sit on? Strozza preti is the Italian word for a type of pasta. Its literal meaning is priest strangler. Legend has it that this pasta got its name from an incident in which a priest tried to eat this pasta so quickly he choked on it. Fancy a glass of chilled water? If you're in Hong Kong, you'd have to get it from the snow cupboard. That's the literal translation of the Cantonese word for a refrigerator. Siut Guai. Cantonese is a form of Chinese. Does a computer help you get smarter? 
Of course it does. After all, it's an electric brain. That's the literal translation of the Mandarin Chinese word for a computer. The Spanish word for roller coaster is Montaña Rusa, meaning Russian mountain. That fun and terror-filled ride got this name because it is inspired by an old pastime of Russians sliding down snow-covered hills. Interestingly, the Russian name for roller coaster translates to American hills. Vampires are said to stick their two fangs into your neck to draw blood. If you have a wild imagination, you can think of a stapler sticking its two fangs into paper. Clearly some South Africans have quite an imagination because the Afrikaans word for a stapler is papir vampir which means paper vampire. And the Afrikaans word for popcorn is jumping corn. Afrikaans is a language spoken in Southern Africa. It evolved from Dutch. Portuguese has some unusual names for body parts. The popular term for the scalp is couro cabeludo or hairy leather. And the calf is called batata da perna, which means leg potato. If you live in Mumbai, the Marathi word batata, meaning potato, would be familiar to you. The word comes from Portuguese. Bergmal is the Icelandic word for echo. It literally means rock language. Makes sense, doesn't it? After all, an echo is created when sounds bounce off surrounding rocks. It's as if the rocks are talking in their own special language. It's not just words from other languages that have interesting literal translations, but phrases too. In Polish, for example, when you want to say it's not your problem, you use the phrase not my circus, not my monkey. When you throw a party in Italy and very few people show up, you use an Italian phrase that translates to there are four cats. I don't know if the four people who showed up are referred to as cats or it's simply a way of saying that hardly anybody showed up and only some cats were seen hanging around. Can you think of words or phrases in your native tongue that would have amusing English translations? Do write them in the comments section. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.